Okay, so if we've got a number and then two sets of brackets, we pretty much go through the same steps. So we're looking, or, or any kind of term for that matter, in front of the two sets of brackets, we go through the same type of steps. So what we're going to do, we're going to multiply these two things first. So I'm going to say we've got x and 1, and we've got x and minus 3. I'll set this up. So we've got uh, x squared minus 3x, uh, x minus 3. We write this all out with our 2 out the front. So we have x squared uh, minus 3x plus x minus 3. Collect like terms. x squared uh, minus 2x minus 3. And then we expand with that 2. So once again, we can go through the same rigmarole of putting um, this into a table. x squared minus 2x minus 3. So here we have 2x squared minus 4x uh, minus 6, which becomes 2x squared minus 4x minus 6. So you can put it in there, or you can just straight out expand. And that's what I'll do here with this one here. So we'll set this up. So we've got, so we've got uh, 3 and negative x, and we've got x and negative 3. Now... So here we end up with uh, 3x, and we end up with negative 3, oh sorry, negative 9, uh, then negative x squared, and then negative 3x. So we'll write this out with our 2x, so we'll put in negative x squared plus, oh sorry, let's go in order here. So we've got 3x minus 9 uh, minus x squared minus 3x. Now, uh, these will cancel because we've got a plus 3x and a minus 3x. And we are left with 2x minus 9 minus x squared. So from there we're going to multiply this 2x by everything in here. So 2x times 9 gives us negative 18x. And 2x times negative x squared will give us positive x cubed. Now, with convention, we put our x cubed first minus 18x.